Hello there lads, lasses and all of the life forms, the almighty blob here and welcome back to Kona! Now, we are in the icy cavern. We have just found the second victim. We have a Lee Enfield gun, which is, says is mighty fine detailed. We've met an old man in a hut that wanted white, white whiskey for this coat that has led us to go down into this cavern. And uh, now we got dynamite and we're blocked in. So let's get. Let's go back in. Yeah, I know that. Alright. We cannot go back that way. We can't go that way. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. We'll go this way. Go back around. Had a few guns, he couldn't bring them all at the same time. All right, that's fair enough. I've got I've got too many guns in them. Carl suddenly felt observed. Oh, he was worried about a presence around. Oh fuck. Oh no. Oh no. Don't fail me now, flashlight. Oh. Are you hitting me? You are. Oh fuck. Uh, 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 uh equipment. Oh. I've got no bullets. Why have I got no bullets? Fucking hell. I can't see crap. Alright, here's the go. Here's the second. Here's. Scratches did not stop Carl. His mother would be so. Oh, yeah. Clearly. Uh, can I. It was here. Okay, run, 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 run. There we go. Is this leading me outside? No stone can withstand the force of dynamite. Well, that's good to know. Move the ladder. Is that it? I guess so. I guess that's it for the icy cavern. I don't know if I can't remember if there was more weapons in there, but I'll stick with the Lee Enfield at the moment. I don't I have no idea where I am. Oh, we're just further south. Okay. Right, so I think we've covered mostly everything on this little circle path now. So I think the next step is to go back onto the main road. Maybe head up to the Hamilton's house. Is it, it is Hamilton, isn't it? Hamilton, yeah. Uh, there's a crossroads, there's a watchtower there. A bed? I don't know what the bed signifies. We haven't been to the blaze thing, so that's the next closest house. The secret project, but I need a uh, crowbar to get... Oh, there's a wolf. Uh, I need a crowbar to get into that, which is not going to happen. There's the... Let's have a look in here. So this is where I went in. Is it all blocked off now? Yeah, it's all blocked off. Look at that. Yeah, no, you're not getting out that way. Take out. I don't want to take more pictures of that stuff. Alright, so... Back to the van. 
and we'll head up to the next house. Blaze. Blaze. Alright. Radio. Just pulling into it. Well, hopefully this house will have some more clues. Because literally we came here for the murder of Hamilton. But now we found the eye sculptures of human beings. Oh, Blaze House. Okay, okay. Um, get out now, please. Still annoys me that he doesn't turn off the fucking van. A wintry atmosphere surrounded the house. The soundlessness of the area suggested it was empty. Yeah, let's check the small one first. I always check the small houses. Uh, it's another key. Should have known. Bins. We got a log. I might need a log. Let's have a log. Oh. Can't move. Okay. Alright. Here we go. Oh, there's boots. Someone's boot. When finding a boot, one wonders what became of the foot. No, what happened with the other boot? That's what's mine. Hello? Oh, this is nice. Okay. We can, um... Thank you. Someone ran out of time packing his luggage. Okay. Dominoes! The key, which seemed to be meant for a padlock, bore an inscription reading Pizza a Piss. Hmm. A company, a company name. name. Better keep an eye open. Businesses weren't exactly numerous around these parts. Money in a jar. What a shock. <laughs> Carl would have loved cookies. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, we've got a... Looks like a hockey playing card. Radio. I don't need radio. Let's have a look in here. Go on. Tender beans. Oh. School off. I love them. Biscuits. Let's have a look in the fridge. No dead bodies. We got meat. Steak. Beer bottle. Okay. Stencils. It's weird that I needed some of them earlier. Really. The spirograph amused Carl. It was a nice modern toy. Aside from being repetitive by nature and completely useless. <laughs> still, it found its way into many Quebecois homes. What we got here? A pay stub for some undoubtedly harsh lumberjack work. Hmm. Alexandre Blais felled trees and chopped woods for Cloutier et Fils. Okay, so that's going to have something to do with it. An unpaid bill. Okay. Oh, crap. What have we got here? Joe, Joe Deasing, more hockey stickers. At least we got a vinyl player now. Could I go and nick that Led Zeppelin one? So I can hear. Instead of going upstairs. Over the last few days, a lack of resources forced the death investigation of Pierre Blair to come to a halt. The autopsy of the body conducted over the last few weeks didn't reveal any clue that could have helped the investigators. Who refused to comment on what would happen next. A new development is happening in the context of a hypothesis of an accident which is still in spite of scepticism expressed by the local population. The ongoing official cause of death provided by the authorities... The incident is said to have occurred in the forest surrounding Lake Atamibipek. Atamibipek? I can't say that. Was found lifeless two weeks ago near a footpath leading to the soon to be restarted copper mine. Ooh. Blaze, an engineer by training who was working on behalf of the consortium, headed by William Hamilton, was reportedly in charge of the development plans surrounding the re reopening of the mine. First police had disclosed that the body had been. Desecrated to today, the official version is that it was partly devoured by beasts. Hence, the original assumption that a crime had been committed. Okay. Oh, notebook. A bit of reading to pass the time. Why? Why would you put this in the game? It doesn't do anything. Oh, that. 
another cracked mirror. Is this cracked mirror is like important? Is this something to do about the? Um, I wanted that. Seems like everywhere. The bulb was burnt out. Okay. Don't need a plunger. Don't need that. Right. Come on. Upstairs we go then. Oh wait. The picture had been taken inside the house. It was the same wallpaper. Judging by the smiles, nobody suspected the impending misfortunes. Little Martin Blais with his uncle Pierre. There was a deep sense of bonding and pride coming out of the picture. Carl felt sorry for the man. No one deserves such a cruel fate. Okay. Is that the doctor's surgery? What's the kid holding? It looks like some sort of axe. Oh, here we go. Hello? Static television. Right, no one behind me, please. Good. Balls. Sleeping upstairs. Evidence. Drawing. Le Monstre. It's fucking slender, man. No, oh, this is getting creepy now. Yeah, oh, this is getting really creepy. Possible creation for a mechanical drawing toy. <laughs> I was fucking awesome on them. The sheets were in such a way that indicated a rude awakening. Yeah. Followed by a hurried escape. What had happened here? A window left open in that weather? Perhaps something had to be watched. This is freaking me out now. I feel like uh, every time I'm going to go outside, only the tormented mind smoke in bed. No, that's true. Beer bottles. There's got to be something else in here. Louise's diary. I fear the worst for Alexandra. He hardly gets any sleep. I thought it was the work, but it seems to be far worse than that. From dusk till dawn, he stares into the void. He barely speaks to me. His son asked him to play the ball. He didn't say a word. And that way, he has to glance at the window. Last night, I heard him mumble in his sleep. He's coming, he murmured. I don't know why, but those words left a deep impression on me. He woke up shortly after, covered in sweat. He couldn't remember his dream. Obviously, didn't go back to sleep after that. That chain smoking the night away over the window. He told me to pack my things this morning. I wonder why. Does he know himself? No, we're waiting. But for what? I think. I feel. Dread. No? No second page? No. I thought there might have been the second page. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> Giving me the notion to turn the fucking light out. Oh, that's horrible. Shit. It's a wolf. Fucking hell. Oh. Hello. Yeah, get out of here. Fucking close the door behind you as well. That freaked me the fuck out, that. I think that's it. Yeah. Oh wait. This furniture has been moved several times. Aha! My sweet Marie, please excuse my handwriting in a hurry. I have to leave the North Maniston with Mum and Mrs. Roy. As they say, it's far too dangerous around here these days. I don't know how much 
I don't know much about what's going on, but because Mum won't tell me anything in an attempt to reassure me, but all I know is that she has the exact same expression on her face as when I startle her. Dad and Mr. Rye aren't coming because they have gone to get Mr. Lance Lacance, their real heroes. My grandfather lives in a very big house in North Maniston. You will be welcome there. I must go now, quite literally. Your friend, Martin. Ooh. Right. Let's go check this outhouse. Well, I hope it's the key for this. No, it's not. Carl's big fingers prevented him from reaching the. So key. That's where the key is. So I need something to. Empty bottle. This is getting interesting. This is really getting. The atmosphere is horrible. <laughs> that tension is building up, especially when you're in. I keep thinking that I'm gonna see someone just look at me and through a window. I don't think there's anything around here. But it looks like I need a fishing look. Yeah, they don't know, yeah. So I'm sure I've got a key in the house. Kutia E.T. Filles Key. Is that the doctor? I think it could be the doctor's. Doctors, that little room in the doctors. Something's telling me it's the doctors. And there's nothing there. I need a. Carl's big fingers prevented him from reaching the key. Yeah. Okay, I think we're done here now. I think I've got everything I needed here. So I'm gonna go check this at the doctor's surgery. Uh, I might make a few pit stops on the way there, but. If nothing interesting happens, nothing to be concerned about. Alright. Alright, uh, I haven't gone to the doctors yet. I've gone back to the general store because when I went and drove past, the narrator said there was more secrets to be held here. So, and with the coat, I can now venture off into the snow, I believe, for a longer period of time. So there's another house here called La Hans, and there's a cave. So, I could go that way. But I'm going to go this way. Just because it's on the map. So I'm guessing there's going to be something at these buildings. Let's have a look. So yeah, there's another wolf. There we go. What are you getting there? Oh, what's that there? Is that a twig? Oh, we got another heist man. Oh, we got a gun. No wolf could have done that. Yep. A shiver ran down Carl's spine as he glanced over another body trapped in ice. Indeed, the scene was quite chilling. Yep. Here we go. Another one. Carl felt familiar shivers going down his Oh. Back, and he was back with a round of vision. Okay. Running away. Whoa. Okay, we've got the fire. The beast enjoys to all appearances, this was a hunting war. Better yet, a war diary. The beast enjoys long slumbers. Its sanctuary seems impregnable. Ice is everywhere. I need to exercise patience and wait for it to come out to think like a hunter. The beast often invades the settlements bordering the lake. It terrorizes the white people. They never see it coming, but they feel its presence, a cold dread grabbing at your innards. The beast excites the wolves, makes them more aggressive. One attacked me, I had to cut its throat. The blade digging into its flesh made the sound of a taut wire. The beast is getting closer to the villages. It moves at night, bringing heavy snow and strong gusts of wind along with it. I tracked it to no avail. I don't know the white man frozen in ice, but I do know this. It is the work of the beast. It attacks to curdle the blood of its victims. White men know nothing of this force of nature. I touched the ice in prison of the white man. I saw things, but I do not understand them. 
It was as if past and present were one, as if I was a spider, and with my eight eyes I could see backward and forward simultaneously. This beast, this creature, is not of this world. I must find the beast again, and if necessary, eliminate it. Oh wait, is there another page? Yeah, it's just two pages. Okay. More footprints. Okay, there's the wolf. The wolf is getting excited. What's this? What could these engraved numbers mean? Seven, three, nine. appeared before Carl. Let's uh, write that down just in case if we lose this. Fresh puff. Okay, let's go. No, oh, there he is again. There's the wolves. Jumping in front of him. Not attacking him, but exciting him. And he's going to continue. There we go. And this is his car. Oh, don't, don't jump out. Slowly faded away, like an icicle melting in the palm of your hand. Carl, back in the real world, now knew who the icebound man was. Gilles Lachance, the general store's manager, Vincent. Oh. That had to be the worst parking job ever. <laughs> who was Carl to judge, though? It may be customary to park like that around these parts, or not. Yeah, so where are we now? We're back just below the general store. There's a cave back there, but I don't really want to go to that cave. Bedard, Roy. I feel like I need to go check them houses again, because I never did. There is a... Let's go back to that camp. It's around here somewhere. Over here. There we go. There we go. Fire starter. Cool. So, where's the cave? There's a building over here. Buildings on top of here. Well, it says it's at top of here. Here it is. Oh, the blue things. Oh shit! You know, it's a, it's a, another man. The Kansas house. So yeah, he didn't, he didn't make it very far, did he? Still got power. Let me get back up. Go on. Oh, look at that. The air was freezing right down to the bone. Okay, let's have a look, a quick look around here. No dial tone again. Line is cut. Well, that's a bit weird. Shouldn't be cut. Let's get fire going on in here. Nope. 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 Okay. The pot was cold, and the stew inside wasn't cooked. It's likely that poor Giselle was slow cooking it before she got snapped. What a waste. Why is my heartbeat suddenly coming up? Oh, that was freaky. I don't want... Why? The otherworldly ice had struck again. 
the woman's hopes and dreams were frozen in eternity. Have you yet to find a clock that works? Okay. You know, I'll come back to the ice in a minute. Ah, oh, moving. What a pleasant activity. Of course, you'll find the record player only to find the records weeks later in some random box. Article about the store. Founded by Bertrand Laxange more than 20 years ago. The store, along with several more infrastructures in the area, had been acquired by wealthy industrialist Jay Hamilton. Jay Hamilton. Perhaps the village should be rechristened Hamilton. Yeah. Seems like everyone had motive for killing Hamilton. Whoa. 1948. Turning you off. Turn the lights on. What a mess. Clearly, there was some major revamping work underway here. The place looked barely habitable. Looks like they didn't like the look of this place. A nice white coating would restore the room to its charm of olden days. Yep. Many boxes scattered about. Carl didn't need to summon his detective training to quickly figure that the Lachauses had just moved in. Yeah, obviously. Oh, come on. Ten Polaroid film again. Many boxes scattered a wet in. Carl didn't need to summon his detective training to quickly figure that the Lachauses had just moved yeah, in. Yeah, I fucking don't. No, I'm keeping the lights on, thank you very much. Matches. Beautiful portrait of Jill and Giselle, bound together by the chains of conventional love. Harley, Qu what? Harley Quinn novels. Hmm. Well, don't seem to be much else here. Okay. To the ice. See what happens here. So, oh, oh! Something was hidden under the stairs. I should come back later. All right, yeah, I can, I can do that. Oh! The man grabbed his rifle. Carl felt a sense of dread. In oh, him. yeah. So we've already found him. That's the name. 1948. And that's him talking to the wife. Perhaps their spousal relationship had been cooling down lately. And that's him going. Oh, I didn't check the bathroom. It seemed like secrecy was commonplace. My God, how many secret places have you got? The vision's veil was lifted, and he was back to reality. Right, yo. A reality in which Giselle, Jill's loving spouse, was motionless. Rosalind. September. Mother once told me when I first met Giles that I hadn't picked the brightest bulb of the lot, and as the years fly by, I'm seeing the truth of her words. Always trust your mother's wisdom. That black mailing scheme is a prime example of Giles' brightness. He's like a small dog. He thinks he's bigger than he actually is. He growls, generally thinking he's scary. But everyone knows he can be pushed aside with just a little kick. He truly believes he can blackmail Hamilton. Ooh. The big boss himself. It's going to be a long time in hell before my poor Giles can manage to pull off such a feat after all. Hamilton's a rich, learned, and influential man. And let's be honest, Giles is way out of his league, but Giles doesn't even know how he's actually going to carry this out. I don't even think he ever would. He's just throwing him, throwing random threats out loud in the kitchen. He says he'll do it eventually, but I know better. Successfully blackmailing requires masterful cunning, and Giles is a master of nothing. He's a slave and forever will be. Ah, oh, he stars all these documents he tends to use. Ah! 
choose that Hamilton would just still love to figure it out. There's a trick to help him remember his father's first initial, followed by three numbers. I had to a grave behind a pen. Oh, wait. He has a trick to help him remember his father's first initial, followed by three numbers, which we've got. 739. I had to grave behind his pendant, who would possibly have a hard time remembering three simple numbers, but my Giles. He will flail his arms and legs. I told him to blackmail business. I cannot believe I have taken such a part in a trial. I haven't done anything. Why do I feel so good? Poor girl, she was so young. Okay. Okay, do I... I don't want to go back out. Oh. Oh, why is everything black again? Thank you. Looks like the holes in that puzzle are there to stay. Okay. Okay. So it's his initial of his father. So it's either B or L. I didn't catch the thing. Carl had seen that kind of safe before. With its double layered security system blending letters and numbers, its code couldn't be broken by the common verb. So it's 739. Okay, it's not that. So it's his father's initial L? Okay, we don't have L. But anyway, I'm going to figure that out in a minute. So look. Bertrand. 1948. Lacan's. Anyway, I'm going to end this episode here. Uh, and then we'll, next one we'll be finding out what's in the safe. Um, it's Oh, the tension in this is getting building up. I still haven't seen the enemy. Or the beast, should I say. I've seen wolves. Been attacked by wolves. Been attacked by an old man in a sh with a shotgun, but no beast. Hopefully, <laughs> not hopefully. <laughs> I don't want him. Okay. Um, so thank you all very much for watching. I've been the All Right Blob. This has been Kona. Peace and love. And as always, don't do anything I won't do. Bye. Ooh. No, no, no.